So today's video, I'm going to be working on a logo design. I decided that I needed a logo that better represented myself and my brand. I hear you saying, well, Rowie, what brand? Uh, well, let me tell you. I have been working on an Etsy. I won't lie, it's been a little bit of a slow process, uh, especially with being a new mom. So there have been a few setbacks, but I'm really excited to get stuff up and going with it and to hopefully start posting product to sell soon. But let's talk about the logo for just a second and why I decided to make it a little kiwi bird wearing a wizard's hat. So my name that I go by on social media is Rowi Kiwi and it has been for a while now. I've always gone by Kiwi. It's a nickname I've had literally since I was like four years old. Um, it's very close to my actual name and sound, uh, I guess. So that's that's what it is, Rowi Kiwi. Um, I chose Rowi Kiwi because I like how it sounds, and if you look it up, it's an actual species of uh, uh, kiwi bird. So they're, uh, they're pretty cool. I think they're awfully cute. So it just made sense to use a kiwi bird as reference for my brand logo. I added the little wizard hat to it because I love fantasy and all things fantastical and whimsical and I think that really shows through in my artwork because I do draw a lot of elves and little trolls or uh, fantastical creatures, lots lots of wizards, all kinds of stuff like that. With that being said, I thought that the wizard Rowi Kiwi bird would be a perfect logo design for me and my brand. You know, a little bit of self-representation and a representation of the art I like to do. I guess it is a little silly though because rowy kiwis and kiwi birds in general have very tiny wings so I guess they would have to hold a wand with their feet because I don't think that they could do it with their wings. <laughs> I will say uh, at this point you can see me really struggle trying to get the rowy kiwi name kind of situated. Uh, <laughs> I am not very good at penmanship or uh, calligraphy, so it definitely was a little bit of a struggle for me to get it to look kind of nice. Is that anybody else's experience that they are decent at drawing, but their penmanship is absolutely terrible? Because that is definitely mine, and it always has been. My handwriting has always been just like absolutely terrible. I think after duplicating the letters from Rowi into Kiwi, uh, I ended up with a pretty decent look. Uh, it's not terrible. So that was good. That it just, it was definitely the hardest part of this entire process for me. At this point, I have finalized my sketch and I'm going through and doing the final inks. You can see I kind of like am playing around with the brush a little bit because it got a little wonky. Um, it's really annoying actually in Procreate on the iPad that uh, if the slider for the pen gets moved, it is an absolute nightmare to try and get the pen size back to the exact size you had it at. Just, I thought I would share that with everybody. It, it happens all the time where I will accidentally bump that slider and then have no idea what size I started off with and then I have to play with it for a really long time to get it back. I don't know, that's just, you know, me though. <laughs> I had mentioned that I was going to use this logo for my brand, including on Etsy. Um, yes, I am working on an Etsy shop because I have not a lot going on right now. I did quit my job last year after I had my baby, so I have a lot of quote-unquote free time. Not like a ton because I'm raising a brand new baby, but I don't really like sitting around doing a whole bunch of nothing, so... I figured why not put some of this artwork I have created through the years to use and maybe try and sell some products with my artwork on it. I've thought about doing this for literal years and I have just never had the time or I guess the patience to do it. But now seems like a good time to give it a try. I figure if it works out, that's great. If it doesn't work out, then you know what? That's fine too. Um, I don't plan on doing anything super ridiculous or putting all of my eggs in this one basket. 
it kind of is just like a side project, something for me to work on, uh, to just give me something to do, really. So like I said, if it works out, it works out. That's great. At least if I give it a try, I know that I, I did in fact try. It wasn't just a, a dream I had that I never pursued. But what will I be putting in this Etsy shop that I intend on opening soon? Uh, well, I'm glad you asked. I plan on starting with some little stuff like handmade stickers and keychains. I know that those are both pretty saturated markets, but that's really all I can kind of manage right now is stickers and keychains. Um, keychains because I can do resin work and stickers because I have a Cricut and stickers are really popular for artwork to sell, like a popular way to sell your artwork because um, they're cute you can put them on anything and I also just really really like stickers so e even if they don't sell it'll be cool to have stickers of my stuff so I played around with the coloring for the logo quite a lot you can kind of see that here I started off with the more natural brown color that kiwis are and I ended up deciding that, you know what, I don't want it to be a natural color because this is a wizard kiwi. Why on earth would a wizard kiwi be a natural color? So I decided that I was going to make it a kiwi, kiwi bird, like the fruit. So I colored it green. I colored my logo green like the kiwi fruit for my kiwi bird. Clever, huh? It's kind of like a visual pun. But in all seriousness, I just thought that it was a little more unique than just a brown on brown bird. Uh, I also decided with the wizard hat, I would make it complimentary. So with the bird being green, the hat's going to be leaning more purple and blue. I found this whole process to be really fun, and I actually cranked this out in just a few hours. Like a, I'm going to say it took like two hours from start to finish to do the sketch, the line art, and then the coloring, which is really not that long. But it was a lot of fun to think about you know, how I wanted to represent myself to people, and also because it's a logo, you know, keep it a little more simplified. It's a logo. It doesn't need to be super crazy. I also wanted it to be recognizable, so the simpler it is, the more recognizable it is. Or at least that was my thinking behind it. I also made it in layers so that I could take the color out and just have the line art of the logo if I needed it for anything. And then, you know, obviously there's the color version as well. And once I was done with this whole process, I actually went and made a whole bunch of, uh, different colored rowy kiwi birds uh, just using the hue slider on my logo uh, just because I thought it would be fun to see what the different uh, the different color kiwi birds could be. So it's kind of like I have a a horde of kiwi birds that are all my own in my logo. But that's all. That's my logo. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one. And you know, when my Etsy shop is up and running, maybe we'll talk a little bit more about what I'm doing with that too. All right. Bye.